So this is miso soup that we are making tonight. And all we have here so far are two cups of water, filtered water in this case, one and a quarter tablespoons of dashi, which is a soup stock, essentially. It just looks like little uh, pellets, like little like mustard seeds. And so one and a quarter, uh, one and a quarter tablespoons, tablespoons of that have gone into our, uh, our water, which is set over high heat, and we're just letting that get come to a boil. We're stirring it occasionally using these long chopsticks, just for why not. We'll need some miso paste as well, which we'll, we'll toss up in here in a minute. And we've also already chopped up some tofu. So this is a third of a block of tofu here, chopped up into pieces. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of it back in the in there. There we are. And re-refrigerate it. Once you've opened a block of tofu, you want to put it in the fridge. So this is a normal block of tofu the size of that. I'm using a third of it. We're starting to get some simmering. So let's move back over. There we go. In fact, we can go ahead and move our tofu over as well. Oop. A little bit of excitement there. So there's some simmering here, actually some boiling at this point. And I want to stir that up again, make sure there's nothing sticking to the bottom of the pan. High heat, water, and a little bit of dashi. Already getting that wonderful umami smell. So to this, we're going to add <coughs> me. two tablespoons of miso paste. Going to scoop that in. It's a very thick paste. Here's what it looks like. I like peanut butter. So I'm going to grab that and then use my chopsticks to put that in, scrape it in. So need two of these tablespoons. And again, it's soup. So you don't have to worry too much about getting your ingredients exactly right down to the gram. One of the nice things about it. And because you have a, a, a paste, like a, a, again, kind of like a peanut butter, you'll need to stir that in a bit. Then it starts taking on that wonderful, uh, very miso soup smell as that cooks up. Let me grab the onion powder. Let's stir that up a bit more. Once this is dissolved in, I will go ahead and add the onion powder. Normally, I would have um, a green onion for this, chopped up to put it in. But I didn't have one, they didn't have any at the grocery store I normally go to uh, today. So I'm just uh, substituting uh, onion powder. You could put in whatever you, you know, whatever you want there for that. That onion adds something, uh, yeah, a nice texture to it, a nice, a nice flavor, uh, a nice strength, if you will, to it. The more you stir, the slower it cooks. I'm trying not to get too crazy with that. Okay. And then I'm going to lower the heat a little bit here. Um, add my add my onion powder, which does not work out. That's right. right. Grind and saturate some uh, onion powder in there. It's all stuck. Okay. And 
stir that in. The idea is good enough that you can smell a little onion in here. You can, you can smell the difference it makes. That's all good. And then, again, normally you just put in the, the chopped green onion. And then you move in your tofu. Although you can do a little bit more. Because this tofu will fall apart if cooked too hot. But fortunately, that is it. You put in that the, the tofu at the very end, just before serving, and now we have miso soup. That simple. So again, this was two cups of water, one and a quarter tablespoon of dashi, two tablespoons of miso paste, some chopped green onion, or onion powder, and a third of a package of tofu. And you get your lovely, uh, your lovely miso soup. Very straightforward. This can be refrigerated for maybe about three days. Um, after that, the tofu starts to break down, the flavors start to break down, and it just isn't, isn't as good. Um, so definitely do that, but it definitely refrigerates up very well. <coughs> and it's worth uh, uh, you know, a nice reheating. And boy, is this satisfying. It's the chicken noodle soup of the rest of the world. And my gosh, it's just, it's wonderful. And it soothes the soul. So I'm going to go and have some uh, soul-soothing miso soup. Thank you all for joining me. This has been a Falcon Cooking. And uh, we'll be back with more later on.